Welcome back. This week on Athlete of the Week, it's a little different. Instead of one individual Western Slope athlete or team, we're focusing on a father-son duo that captivated the Western Slope during their historic season on the basketball courts. Athlete of the Week, sponsored by the Law Office of Chadwick McGrady. The Fruita Monument boys basketball team had one of the more unforgettable seasons in a while on the Western Slope. And at the center of it all was a head coach in his first season leading the team and his own son emerging as a star for the Wildcats. You know, originally when I was contacted, you know, about the position, I wasn't really interested. You know, I had coached both my daughters for their whole high school careers and, you know, I was kind of ready to be dad and, and have a different role than I had ever had. He did a great job with the girls and we have a fantastic boys program and I knew he could continue to build on it and take us farther into the Coliseum, which we did this year, and that's what we wanted. And at home I would make jokes about him being the coach and I'd, like, every time I'd walk downstairs, I'd be like, what's up, coach? And like just making jokes because I wanted to push that and I wanted him to be our coach. Looked at all the options, you know, eventually I was going to be at the games anyways. I might as well, you know, have a little better seat and be able to hopefully continue to put my stamp on the program like I did with the girls. On top of working through the ebbs and flows of the high school basketball season, both as a first year head coach and as a player, Michael and Jet Wells also had to navigate when to be father and son and when to be coach and player. I learned a lot with my oldest daughter um, early on. One of the best pieces of advice someone ever gave me was to have someone else drive her home from practice. Um, and so, you know, after practice, I could finish being coach and doing the things. And then on the drive home, you know, once I got in the driveway, I was dad. And, you know, fortunately he can drive now, so we aren't in the car together and that sort of stuff. But, you know, that experience for me really helped because I really tried to be coach in the gym and dad at home. and and do the best I could to separate those things. It, it's not always possible and it wasn't always easy, but you know, fortunately I had a lot of experiences from previous times to lean back on. But it wasn't just about developing chemistry with each other, but also as a whole team. And according to the duo, that took a little bit of time. This summer we did not look very well. And then when we came back and we, after our first few games, I was like, okay, this is starting to turn into an actual basketball team other than this like I said, this summer did not look very well. And he came in and he just was like, you guys just have to trust me. And he told all the seniors that they just had to trust him and he'll take us to where we want to be, which is what he did. But when the high school season came, things absolutely clicked, resulting in a historic season where the Wildcats posted an undefeated regular season and made it to the Denver Coliseum in the state playoffs. And Jet Wells had one of the biggest shots of the magical season where after trailing all game in the Wildcats first round playoff matchup, Jet Wells hit the go-ahead three in front of a packed hometown crowd. It was like, it was a crazy experience to feel that and I just had confidence in our whole team at halftime. We were all just like, this isn't us and we like just knew we had to flip the switch and turn it up on the defensive end and just everyone can contribute on this team and it was just amazing that what we can all do. And he didn't think it was going in when he shot it. I yeah, know that. that is true. <laughs> With so much basketball talent in the family, it does beg the question, who do members of the Wells family think is the best hooper in the household? And apparently it's a consensus. Got to be mom. Mom was no question the best player, without a doubt. I think she's got some competition coming, but right now, right now it's her. If you have a nominee for Athlete of the Week, you can find out how to submit that on our website. We'll have more from high school sports later on tonight on the 10, but for now, I'll do it for your look at sports. We'll be right back.